Hey folks, many of you recognize this horribly chosen July 18th photograph from RecentSpace.com and Fox News fearmongering. This is not a hole in the sun, a chunk did not rip off, and nothing dangerous is racing towards Earth at this time. This is a coronal hole, a hole in the corona, or atmosphere of the sun. It is not a visual photograph, it only looks in certain wavelengths, the camera that is, and reveals charged particles in the atmosphere. Coronal holes are common. This is 30 days of the sun using the same wavelength they picked. Good luck picking out the coronal hole they chose for doom. This satellite is 15 years old and was replaced for a reason. Here is that same time period using my favorite, the SDO AIA-193, a much better instrument for detecting particles in the solar atmosphere. Even here you can still see the coronal holes, they could hold hundreds of Earths. So while Fox's experts waited two weeks and literally made things up while looking at this awful image, people on this channel saw this, and this, and this, in near real time, each looking in a different wavelength seeking different ions. This is the same time frame used by Fox, but we're using wavelengths aimed at the solar surface. No hole, no darkness, no chunk missing and heading for Earth. There are things called solar flares which do erupt coronal mass ejections into space. Plasma filaments do that too. Those things absolutely do pose a risk to Earth, but let me grab a scene from How to Watch the Sun to better explain coronal holes. The umbral magnetic fields created by sunspots cover most of the mid and lower latitudes of the sun, but there are often openings that do not confine plasma and other particles to the corona and those fields, and instead forces those particles out at a rate much stronger than normal solar wind. That's why we often take fast solar wind streams from coronal holes. If any of that was confusing, I'd consider going back and watching the rest of it. The unrestrained magnetic force of coronal holes pointed out at our little sphere magnet of a planet Earth has spawned a number of potential macro and micro causative earthquake triggers to be hypothesized. My Energy from Space series details a number of recent changes in the solar system. One of the most important was in 2007, involving coronal holes, and has involved every major earthquake since that time. Watch the following and the umbral field openings tending to match.